Good evening. Thank you all for being here tonight. I think this event is so cool, and I was so honored to be asked to speak tonight. My name is Marinay Cabrera, and I am a third year dental student. Soon to be fourth year. We have one more clinic uh, week left, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm also really excited to be representing the dental school. Uh, there's so many amazing colleagues of mine, people who are fourth years now who are about to leave, people who are third years, second years, first years. Everyone has a really cool story. Um, I'd like to think that my path to dentistry is a little bit non-traditional. I didn't grow up knowing that I wanted to become a dentist. I didn't have a dentist in the family. I had a lot of dental work done, but I didn't exactly love it. Um, and so the only thing I really knew as a child was that I loved fixing things and making things better and finding solutions to problems. And the earliest memory that I have of fixing something was a long, long time ago, back when I was around seven years old, and our doorbell was broken. And so this is back in New York. I'm a Yankee. I apologize. But um, I begged my dad. I said, Dad, please take me to True Value. I want to I wanna fix it. And so my dad took me to the hardware store, and we got a new doorbell, and I went home, and I installed it, and I fixed the problem. And the satisfaction that I got out of that was incredible, which is ultimately what led me to choose a career in engineering. So I went to college up in Pennsylvania, a small school called Lehigh University. <laughs> yeah, Lehigh. And, um, and I studied bioengineering. And after Lehigh, I went um, back home to New York and I went to grad school at NYU and I studied biomaterial science. And what that basically is, is studying materials that people put inside of their bodies. So that was actually my first foray into the dental world without even realizing it because I was studying things like titanium for dental implants and zirconia for crowns and bridges. And so through that, after NYU, I took a job with a dental implant company. And my role was product development engineer. So my job was to design products for dentists to use. And it was cool, it was fun. Um, but my favorite part about my job was not actually sitting behind the computer and doing all the 3D modeling. It was taking the prototypes, which was the very last step of the process, and going out to local dental offices and working with dentists. So I would just kind of give them the tool and say very little because I wanted it to be intuitive and I wanted them to kind of know how to use it without having to pick up a manual and read how to use it. So. Um, when I realized that going out to the dental office was my favorite part of my job, I kind of had this moment of, oh no. <laughs> so I called my sister up, who uh, she's a couple of years older than I am, and she was a fourth year medical student here at UTESCA. And I kind of explained my quarter life crisis, and I said, gosh, I think I, I, think I want to switch careers. And she was very supportive. And so looking back, I'm very thankful that I had a family who was my biggest cheerleader. Everyone was very excited that I was excited about a new career and they were um, big fans of me, you know, going back to school. And so a couple of years later, here I am, about a year away from graduating with a degree in dentistry. My favorite part about dentistry is that I'm doing what I love. I'm finding solutions to problems, but this time it's for people. And that makes it all the more gratifying. And we have patients at the dental school who come in and they're embarrassed to smile, but we have solutions for that. We have patients who come in and they're in pain, but we have a solution for that. And they can leave our school that day no longer feeling that pain. We have patients who really need a good cleaning. And we have dental hygienists, thank you girls for coming tonight, who make their teeth super sparkly clean. So we have solutions for all of these different dental problems. So speaking about the dental school, we have a brand new clinic. I don't know, how many of you are familiar with the building? Yes, so it's beautiful, it's big. <laughs> 
And inside of this school, we have dental students like me and Casey and everyone here. We have dental residents, which are, they're parts of programs that I know Casey's gonna talk a little bit about. Uh, we have dental hygienists. And we're all here to solve dental problems. But the really cool thing about this is, and I don't know how many people in this room know this, but as a Uteska student, you can become a patient at the dental school with the additional benefit of having 30% off of the already discount price. <laughs> I feel like it's just an infomercial all of a sudden. <laughs> if you sign up right now. No. Uh, <laughs> but you have the, the benefit of getting really good care from students like me who care about our patients so much and um, it's, at, it's at a really good price. So I know as students, we're all kind of in that boat of student loans and, and how serious those loans feel. So just a little plug for dental school. Um, but yeah, a dentistry, I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm so happy that I get to solve problems for people every single day. And if you have a problem, then you know where to go. Thank you. All right, I uh, just want to thank everybody for coming out as well. Um, it's a great turnout for an awesome event. So my name's Casey. I'm also a third year general student, like Marinay mentioned. Um, and I'm going to tell you my story about how I got to be here. A um, couple things about me first. I, um, I'm very detail oriented. I like helping people. I like working with my hands. And I'm also, you know, I consider myself to be fairly artistic. Um, so I'll come back to why those are important later. Um, so like Marinay mentioned, I didn't you know, know that I wanted to be a dentist since I was this big. Um, kind of wasn't sure what I wanted to be. Um, but around about in high school, um, I remember a trip to my dentist and he talked to me and was kind of showing me some before and after pictures of cases that he had worked on. Um, and to see those people's faces, the difference between the before pictures and the after pictures, and you could legitimately see the excitement in these people's faces about how how much better their smiles were and how much more confident they felt about themselves. And I just felt that was really cool to see that, you know, in a photograph right there in front of me. Um, and so I think that kind of started the fire for me about, you know, me and dentistry. Um, so after high school, I moved down to New Orleans, Louisiana and spent the next four years of my life in that amazing city. I, um, I was on a Navy ROTC scholarship there at Tulane University. So I uh, studied cell biology while I was there. Um, but since I was going into the Navy afterwards, um, you know, I, I enjoyed New Orleans, we'll put it that way. So that was, um, that was a fun time. And so following that, um, you know, I had to, it came time to pick a place where I was gonna go with the Navy. And you know, I had to choose, choose the difficult place to go so that no one else would have to go there. But I picked sunny San Diego, California, <laughs> moved out there for the next four years of my life. And uh, I did what you know, pretty much any 20 something would do. Lived a few blocks from the beach, surfed, kayaked out on the Pacific Ocean, and went and snowboarding up in the mountains near LA. So it was a rough time living out there. Um, <laughs> but I also, um, you know, I worked here and there with the Navy as well. Um, and I was on board ships. So as officers in the Navy, there's kind of three main categories that you can go into. Um, there's a lot of other ones as well, but the three kind of big ones, you can be on a submarine, you can be a pilot, or you can be on ships. And so I picked going into ships. I couldn't see very well, so I couldn't be a pilot. Kind of wanted to do that, but. Um, so I picked going on, going on ships, and the kind of technical term for that is a surface warfare officer, um, which is kind of a catch-all because they don't really look at what you did in undergrad um, for what job they throw you into. So in the four years that I lived in San Diego, I was on two different ships, and I worked with a lot of different guys. Um, engineers that ran the ship's main engines, uh, electricians, uh, computer IT guys, um, so a whole range of things. So I learned a lot of things about the guys that worked for me and like what they did. So it was a great experience. Um, after, you know, after living out there for four years, uh, it was time for me to take a desk job actually away from a ship. So I took a job that brought me back here to San Antonio. Um, and that kind of re-engaged my, my interest in dentistry because I knew the school was here. You know, while I was out in San Diego, I never really lost touch with my interest in dentistry. I would talk to dentists on board our ships um, in the dental clinics on base um, and things like that. You know, I'd pick their brains, kind of observe when I could and things like that. So came back here to San Antonio, um, actually became a dental assistant because I wanted to make sure that dentistry was really what I wanted to do. So got that. Um, and, you know, the Navy taught me a lot of great things. It was a great experience, but I always felt like I was kind of missing something. And those details about myself that I mentioned before, you know, getting to work with my hands, you know, 
that detail-oriented kind of thing. I was just kind of missing that with what I was doing with the Navy. And so, you know, becoming a dental assistant, you know, I liked what I saw, and so I just kind of decided to make the jump into dentistry, and the last three years have been incredibly rewarding. Um, I'm getting to use all those things, working with my hands, helping people, um, you know, doing a little bit of artistic stuff with, you know, fixing people's teeth and putting them back together and things like that. Um, so it's just been a, a very rewarding time. Um, and so, I, you know, I couldn't have made a better decision. So a little bit about the dental school. It's a four-year program. The, the first two years are pretty academic intensive. Um, we do a lot of book stuff, studying, things like that, a lot of exams. Um, we learn how to build teeth out of wax. We learn how to work on teeth that are actually plastic teeth, you know, removing things like a cavity or a simulated cavity, um, prepping plastic teeth, you know, if we're going to put a crown on them, things like that. So we learn that within the first two years. And then the third and fourth year, we actually start working on our own patients, um, real life people. So, um, you know, we're taking cavities out, giving people dentures, um, all kind of things. And so we do that the, the following two years, and so that completes the four-year program. And then um, from there, once you graduate, the, um, there's, there's kind of an exit exam that's a pretty wild time. You have to find a live patient. Um, they've got to have you know, just the right size cavity, not too big, not too small. Um, you hope that they show up, because if they don't, you're kind of in big trouble. But um, so that's, that's kind of the exit exam to get your license to become a dentist. And then from there, there's a multitude of directions you can go. You can actually go straight to work if you wanted to. Um, you could go work for a corporate dentistry chain. You could work for um, somebody else, you know, looking maybe to retire in a couple years. Um, if you've got all the money in the world, you could build your own building and start, you know, working on your own if you wanted to. Or you could go into um, a whole host of residency programs and, you know, become a specialist. Um, there's things like oral surgeons that can do anything from taking out wisdom teeth to reconstructing somebody's face potentially after a car accident. Um, there's endodontists that do root canals, um, pediatric dentistry, working on little kids, um, periodontists kind of take care of gum disease and get your gums nice and healthy after maybe somebody kind of let that go for a while. Um, what am I missing? Uh, orthodontists do the braces. They don't really, you know, orthodontists is kind of, we like to think of it as black magic. They don't really do as much of the dentistry of like taking out cavities and things, but <laughs> They move your teeth around and they make them really pretty and they like to keep that secret. So, um, so you know, once you graduate from dental school, there's a lot of different directions you can go, but it's, it's really a great field and I'm proud to be part of the dental school. So.